Hello, I made some changes to my giant 500 foot pickup coil around the beam. This time I have it going to two different cables like this instead of one. The ground's connected together, and I have the pickup coil connected to positive here and positive here, and it goes to two different cables like that instead of the one I had. Yeah, before I had just one connector and it went to a splitter and then it went to the two different cables. Yeah, I didn't realize I had it connected up wrong when I did that. That's what happens when you try to do things that have never been done before. Yeah, I have it going to the 100 foot RCA cable and up to my desk. So let's go upstairs and see what it sounds like. So I'll put you right here next to the speaker and we'll see what this thing does. So in that coil I have the foot of magnetron magnet. So the entire beam is magnetic and it dissipates the farther away you get. Actually, I could make the beam magnetic by dumping DC pulses into that coil. Yeah, big pulsing current from something like this. 100 foot RCA cable comes up to my desk, gets grounded right there, and it goes down and over to the stereo. And I have the audio turned all the way up. So we have this huge electromagnetic pickup. We have the piezo pickup, and we have the original pickup made of microwave oven transformer. Yeah, I did a little bit of cable organization. There's the cables going up to my stereo and my desk. It splits off, it goes to ground. The two coax cables that go to my desk in the other room, as well as the twisted pair that goes to my desk in the other room, it goes all the way down there and up to that desk. Coming off, you have the twisted pair that goes to the microwave oven transformer. You have the HDMI cable running to the living room that's way over there so I could watch the live streams on it. I have the 100 foot RCA cable going over there to the pickup coil and they all go into one bundle right up to my desk. Anyway, there's the changes to the pickup coil. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and remember to always be creative when experimenting.